Hey guys, Stefan here from ProjectLifeMastery.com. This is my May 2014 monthly goals report where every single month I give you guys an update on the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year. So on my blog, ProjectLifeMastery.com, I committed publicly to the entire world what my goals are for the year. And you can make sure to head back there, I'll have a link to it, so if you can go back and see what the goals are. And I'm gonna have a blog post that goes along with this video that's gonna break everything down in more detail. But basically, every single month, I go over the goals that I have here on my iPad, and um, I break it down and just give an update of where I'm at. You know, I really believe in the power of measuring yourself. You don't just set a goal one time and you forget about it, but you gotta measure yourself on an ongoing basis to see are you on track, are you on course, are there any adjustments that you have to make, also by doing this, I'm accountable to you guys as well. So uh, I have more pressure to achieve my goals by telling you guys about it and uh, being accountable in that way as opposed to just being accountable to myself. And another reason why I do this too is to inspire you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been following my journey, my transformation. You like to see the progress that I'm making and that transfers on to you guys and some of the goals that you guys are trying to pursue as well. So hopefully I can be an inspiration or a role model for you guys also. And uh, you know, I decided to get outside today. It's such, you know, the weather's been uh, beautiful lately, so this video vlog is outside. Hopefully the sound quality is okay because there's uh, people around, there's a waterfall right here. Uh, there's like a busy street right here. There's a lot of traffic and cars and stuff. So hopefully the sound quality is okay and you guys can hear me. But nonetheless, uh, I'm gonna jump into this. I've got my iPad here. And I'm gonna break down my goals for you. And if you guys wanna read over my goals in detail, go to my blog, I'll have a link to that, and uh, I'll break down the more specifics of this. So the first goal that I set for myself is that I'll easily be 160 at 6% body fat and compete in the WBFF on July 26, 2014. So the WBFF is a fitness competition that I've committed to competing in uh, so that I can get in really amazing shape for the summertime. Um, now the result that I'm at so far is I'm about 148 pounds, around six to seven percent body fat. I haven't quite hit that five percent body fat point that I'm aiming for, but my focus right now is not on putting muscle, not getting up to the 160 because I know I can't hit that right now, but it's just getting as lean as I can so that my abs and my definition is more toned for this fitness competition. Uh, so. The progress I've been making in this goal has been very slow, okay? Last month I was 149, around 6% body fat, and so I've lost technically about one pound in the last month. And I've been having some challenges more so with my diet and just being consistent with that. I kind of blogged about this a little bit. Um, I have to track my meals really in detail and I've been having a few days a week where I just go out, I eat out, and I haven't been really on top of that as much as I'd like. And I've really kind of dissected this goal and figured out why is that? You know, why, why do I want this? Why am I doing this whole fitness thing to begin with? And really for me, what it comes down to is I'm more doing this for fun. I know I'm not gonna win this fitness competition because there's probably some people there that are doing steroids and all that sort of stuff. I'm more so doing this for fun and to be the best that I can be. But at the same time, in order for me to uh, you know, be like the level of body fat or make the progress that I want, I'm gonna have to give up a lot. And I realize that I have to give up and sacrifice a lot of going out, having fun, a lot of balance in my life. And I could do that. I could just you know, uh, stay in every night and just wake up at a certain time and go to sleep at a certain time and eat the exact same meals every day and never eat out or hang out with anyone. But I realized that would actually be taken away from my life and that's not why I'm doing this. So I looked at it and I said, you know what, I'm okay with the progress that I'm making. As long as I'm making progress, that's the more important thing. There might be other people that are making more progress than I am or are gonna achieve this goal a lot faster than I could, but as long as I'm making progress, that's really what matters. And as long as I'm getting leaner and I'm happy about that, then that's what's key. So I've looked at that a lot and I'm happy that I'm making progress. It's not as fast as I'd like it to be. And I'll have some pictures for you guys too so you can see my progress in my body. Uh, but I'm making progress nonetheless. And for June, I'm really aiming to uh, you know, get down to 5% body fat because I've been seeing the 6% range on my scale, but it, getting to 5% would be really awesome. So I do need to tighten things a little bit. I can improve in that area. I'm not making excuses for it, but um, I need to just be more consistent with that if I want to achieve that goal faster. All right, guys, next goal is uh, I will easily complete a seven to 10 day cleanse using the Total Wellness Cleanse by December 31st, 2014. 
No progress made yet on this goal. This is a goal that I'm gonna focus on at the end of the year. Uh, financial, I'll easily be making 30,000 a month consistently by December 31st, 2014. Uh, so for the month of May 2014, I made $43,419 and I'll have a breakdown of that in detail um, on, my, on my blog and everything, the different streams, the different sources that I have. But it was another great month for me financially. The 40 k a month has been fairly consistent now for me for the entire year. Uh, so I've definitely more, I've definitely overachieved the 30000 per month point, which is great. Uh, next goal. I'll easily have saved at least $100,000 by December 31st, 2014. I've achieved that goal, so uh, I'm well over $100,000 now in my bank account as just liquid cash. Um, so I'm really excited for that. You know, that's a goal that I had. I have um, a lot of the money that I make and everything, I save it. You know, I just put it in my savings account or my business checkings account. But I also invest a lot of it as well. You know, I invest in stocks, mutual funds. Um, I want to invest more in real estate and everything and I've also set up a trading account for my company because when you have money in a corporate account, you can't just take out the money and pay yourself. You could do that, but you're paying a lot of money on taxes on that. So I've been really learning lately on how to invest money uh, within my company, which has been really fun. Okay, next goal is I will easily have published at least 100 video blogs on Project Life Mastery by December 31st, 2014. So May was a slow month for me. I published five video blogs and one just blog post without a video. And so that puts me around 36 video blogs for the entire year. Uh, so we're halfway through the year now and uh, you know, I'm definitely coming up a little bit short on that. Um, one thing that I've been doing though is I have a lot of videos that are just sitting on my computer. I just gotta get them out there and publish them that I've recorded in advance. So I've got a lot that I can do there, but I've made a bit of a transition now that summertime is here. And I've decided that I was gonna focus a lot less on some other projects that I have and really simplify my life, <clears throat> simplify my life a lot more. Um, so for example, I realized I was working on way too many projects at once and trying to manage way too many things. And I decided that I was actually gonna cut back on a few of those projects and put them on hold more to the end of the year. And some of my goals, I realized I might not achieve all of them now that I look at it. I could achieve them all, but it's at a price and a sacrifice of uh, you know basically working weekends, evenings, and having that level of commitment. And when I looked at my goals, I asked myself again, why am I doing this? And a lot of these projects that I was working on was so that I could hit that point of making 30,000 a month consistently. Well, I've been hitting over 30,000 a month. I've been hitting 40 to 50,000 dollars a month income in my business. So I realized, you know, maybe it's not that necessary. I, mean, I don't have that same level of desperation to achieve all these projects and sacrifice my fun and my lifestyle in order to achieve them. So I've taken a step back a little bit on some projects and I want to focus more this summertime getting up to speed on my video blogs, um, having fun, doing coaching, and putting some projects on side and have more fun. Okay, next goal, guys, is uh, I will easily launch my new money, make, new money making course by May 1st, 2014. That's a goal that I haven't made progress on. It's been, um, it's in the, been, been in the back of my mind, but I'm putting that on the hold for a while until more the end of the year before I uh, finish that up and launch that. Okay, next, I'll easily launch my new Kindle service by February 1st, 2014. I've achieved that goal. That was my done for you Kindle books. I actually just relaunched it again uh, yesterday and uh, sold out again within a few hours. So um, that's been a really cool service. It's basically providing Kindle books for people where I research the niche, the market, uh, the keywords. I make sure it's profitable and I create everything for them and just give it to people so that they don't have to go through that process themselves. Okay, I'll easily launch my own Kindle software by December 31st, 2014. That's in progress right now. It's actually really close, a lot closer than I expected to be launched. Um, so hopefully that will be done and ready in the next little while here. Um, it's just got to go through some beta testing and everything before I'm ready to launch it. I'll easily launch my new coaching program by March 1st, 2014. I achieved that. Um, I'll easily complete Autoresponder Madness, implement what I learned in my business by March, uh, March 1st, 2014. That's still been in progress. It's been delayed, but it's still in progress. Uh, it's a great course I've been going through to basically learn how to set up email autoresponders for my business. Okay, I'll easily launch the new design for Project Life Mastery by December 31st, 2014. 
that's in progress. The design's actually done, but my last designer uh, kind of flaked out and disappeared. So I actually have a new designer now that's been working on it, and hopefully that'll be done this month. Uh, I'll easily write and launch a new Kindle book by December 31st, 2014. I achieved that. That was my Kindle Marketing Secrets book. I'll easily launch my own physical product on Amazon by December 31st, 2014. Uh, that's been in progress as well. That's gonna be something I'm more gonna focus on at the end of the year, I believe. Uh, mainly because, as I said, I've been so overwhelmed. I've been taking on way too much than I can handle. And I'm really focusing now on just simplifying things and having more balance and fun. And so, I realized, you know, again, you know, I'm reaching my goal of how much money I want to be making. And there's no point overwhelming and overloading myself with so many more projects and having to get them done now. And I'm going to be modifying my goals and everything in the future just to make them more manageable, I think, for me. But some of these goals, I realize I'm just going to put them aside. You know, I'm not going to have that pressure to achieve them all now. I'm going to work on a few things. You know, for example, my blog design, get that done, get this Kindle software done, do my video blogs, get those up to speed and get those out of the way before I can really focus on some other projects. Okay guys, lifestyle, I'll easily move into the Sheraton Wall Center penthouse on the 48th floor in downtown Vancouver by February 1st. I've achieved that, I'm actually outside of my apartment right now, looking up at the uh, beautiful building. I'll have to show it to you guys um, at the end of this video. I'll easily own and be driving a Corvette Stingray by December 31st, 2014. I achieved that goal as well. Uh, I'll easily spend a weekend in Las Vegas by August 31st, 2014. No progress made on that yet, but I am actually going to California uh, for the Tony Robbins seminar um, at the end of this month, of June. So uh, I'll be there in San Jose. If any of you guys are around, definitely come up to me, say hi, let me know. Uh, it's going to be a fun event. I'm actually going with my sister. This is like my sixth time going. Uh, but I decided to take my sister because I think it'd really benefit her and help her in her life. Okay, next I'll, I'll usually spend two and a half weeks in Bali, Indonesia by February 1st, 2014. I achieved that in January. I'll easily travel to San Diego for the Traffic and Conversion Summit uh, by February 1st. I achieved that as well. I'll usually take a one week vacation and travel somewhere by December 31st, 2014. Uh, no progress made on that yet, but um, I'm thinking more during winter time. Uh, at the end of the year, I'm going to go on a trip. And by the way, I'm going through this fairly fast, so I do recommend to go to the blog post and you can read up on each specific goal and find out more details about them if you don't really know what I mean by a lot of these goals. Uh, so you can definitely go to the blog, check out each blog post that I have, or each uh, goal that I have, and learn more about them. Okay, social and relationship. I'll easily go out and socialize and have fun at least three times per week by December 31st, 2014. That's been going really well. I've been socializing a lot more, which has been great. Really enjoying my life, um, having fun, and just enjoying a lot of the, uh, the lifestyle that's, that's available to me. You know, I've worked really hard to create a lifestyle of being financially free so that I can have the freedom to do what I want, to have fun, to travel. And uh, being able to take advantage of that is really cool and fun, to be able to just do whatever you want and have fun. And that's another reason why I've been taking a step back on a lot of projects so that I can have more balance and fulfillment uh, during the summertime. Okay, next is I'll easily have fun, uh, fun get together at my par uh, or party at my place uh, by December 31st, 2014. So every month to have a party at my place. And May 3rd was my birthday, so I actually had a birthday party, which was fun. Had a lot of great friends out um, and it was a blast. So had a great time there. Let's go into habits and personal development. Uh, I'll easily meditate 30 days in a row for 20 minutes at a time by December. 31st, 2014, um, not much progress is made on that. I've been meditating occasionally, but it hasn't been a consistent routine for me right now. And I've mentioned this in, the, in a previous video blog, uh, my why hasn't been strong enough for it. So I'm just kind of putting it on hold for now and I'll revisit that at a later time. I'll easily go 30 days without biting my nails by December 31st, 2014. I achieved that in January. I'll easily go through Personal Power 2 Tony Robbins program by February 1st, 2014. I achieved that also in January. Uh, I'll easily read at least 12 books by December 31st, 2014. So I've read six books so far this year and I'll have a list of them uh, on the blog post as well so you can check out what I'm reading or what I've read so far. Uh, one book that I just recently read was uh, The Warrior of the Light by Paulo uh, Coelho, who's uh, the author of The Al Alchemist. Really amazing book. It was a good inspirational book. One book that I'm reading right now is um, 
it's on doing less, which is part of what I've been trying to apply in my life. It's uh, being able to do less, being able to, able to outsource and leverage yourself. I forget the name of it right now, but I'll make sure to have it uh, on the blog for you guys to check out also. Uh, but I've been actually spending more time reading too, which has been fun. And I wasn't reading for a little while. Um, you know, I wasn't doing this consistently. And now that I've been taking a step back from some other projects, I can focus more on just having fun, enjoying myself more, and getting caught up on reading and doing a lot of th uh, things that I would like to do. Okay, next is I'll easily respond to friends and family members within 24 hours for 30 days straight. I've achieved that goal as well. And the last goal that I had was that I'll easily perform one act of contribution every single month, whether it's volunteering, feeding families, donating to charities uh, by December 31st, 2014. And I've been doing that also. Uh, one thing I've been doing there is my main contribution, there's been a few charities that I've been really passionate about and contributing to uh, just on a regular monthly basis. But beyond that, one thing I love to do is whenever there's opportunities to give, I always try to give or do the best that I can. And so I've been incorporating it more into my daily life when I go out when there's a homeless person or I especially like to reward homeless people that are actually providing some form of value and I always acknowledge them for that. So for example, even if the homeless person's opening the door for people or uh, you know, here in Vancouver, there's uh, homeless people that will like give out flowers or they're finding some way to add value. And so I've been trying to incorporate giving as part of my regular weekly life whenever I go out and stuff to be able to give and contribute in those situations just to train myself as a habit. So that's where I'm at with my uh, goals. I'm gonna share with you guys real quick the biggest lesson that I've learned, and I've kind of referenced it already a few times in this video, but I was getting up to a point in my life where I was being very overwhelmed, and one of the habits that I, I think I have that is a great habit, but also a detrimental habit as well, has been taking on a lot more than I can really handle. And you know, you guys know me, I'm a high achiever, I'm very motivated, I'm very driven, and I've achieved a lot of great things, and I love that and I live for that, but sometimes it's been at the expense of a lot of bal uh, balance in my life and fulfillment. So for example, there's been times in my life where I've been so focused on business and work to get to where I am that I've had to neglect a lot of other areas of my life. And I had to take a step back a little bit and look at and reflect where I'm at. So there's a freaking ambulance going by here. Okay, we're gonna wait 30 seconds for it to go by. Okay. So I had to reflect on where, why I was doing a lot of these goals, what my ultimate outcome and vision was for these. In a lot of cases, it was so that I could make a certain amount of money. And that's why I took on so many of these projects. So by actually taking a step back, this is the lesson that I learned, taking a step back, reflecting on why you set some of these goals in the first place, even being willing to be flexible and modify them a little bit and make adjustments to it can be a very powerful thing. And once I did that, I had uh, just a greater sense of relief of this pressure that I had to achieve all these goals. And I switched gears and I thought, I'm doing this so that I can have freedom, so that I can travel, so that I can have the lifestyle and fun that I want. So I'm gonna take a step back. I'm gonna put less pressure on myself. You know, yeah, some of these goals I might not achieve by the end of the year, and I'm okay with that because I'm achieving my ultimate outcome, which was to make a certain amount of money and to have the freedom and the lifestyle that I want from that. So. I guess the lesson that I learned is being willing to adapt your goals based on your situation, being able to be flexible as well, not so stingent and, and regimented all the freaking time. It can serve you in a lot of areas, but in a lot of areas it can also be a detriment as well. So that would, I say would be the biggest lesson that I learned. Um, and that's it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to check out the blog post. I'll have a link to that as well to break everything down in more detail. Let me what you know what you think. Um, and hopefully you guys are crushing it with your goals also. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.